everybody, Andrew Rice out here at Savannah Harbor and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite words in all of golf and it's predictability. I vastly prefer that over the term consistency that so many golfers use. I understand what you're saying when you're talking about consistency but I would be prone to favor the word predictability because all we're looking to do is be able to get behind this shot and go I'm going to start this to the right of that flag that you see out in the distance and curve it to the left. How much to the right and how much to the left is it going to curve? I'm not really certain. I don't think I can be perfect, but if I can be predictable, then I can start to hit some really good shots. So let's take a look. In order for us to be predictable, i.e. launch the ball to the right and curve it to the left, we need a club path that travels from in to out. We need a club face that at impact is angled somewhere to the right of the target. So we need both. We need the path and the face to the right of the target. I've got a little device that I've concocted here that's going to give me some feedback. As soon as I start to get the club face or the path favoring back to the left, this golf ball is going to be prone to launch to the left. and. I'm going to get some feedback with that ball hitting the net, falling down at my toes. So certainly I want to get up here and without cheating, without aiming a long ways to the right, I want to get up and start to hit some shots that predictably launch to the right and curve back to the left. Let's see. And that one certainly started to the right. I know you couldn't see it finish, but it finished actually very close. My club path there was four and a half degrees from in to out. My club face was slightly closed to that and that's exactly what I want in order to be able to start the ball right and curve it left. However, my club face at impact was pointed to the right of the target and that's an important thing to keep in mind. So how do I do that? A great, great little checklist. Many of you have heard me talk about this two things to check up on. On the way down, we want the club head inside the hands when the shaft is parallel to the ground. A great feel for that is this little pump drill. Get it there and then hit a couple. You can see that ball starting right. It's drawing, I can assure you. And then the second checkpoint is to make sure that's going to get the path to the right. How are we going to get the face closed to the path? but still to the right of the target. A great second item to pile on your plate there, just to make sure that face is tilted down to the ground. And we're gonna do that with that wrist action. So club it inside the hands, face tilted down. Let's hit one. Come on, Andrew, hit a good one. That was better. Higher, more life to it. Club path a little too far out to the right, seven degrees out to the right. Face angle, 5.8 to the right. So. Anytime you can use an outside factor, an external stimulus, where you're going to set up to this ball and go, whoa, I've got to miss this stake or I've got to miss this net in front of me, start the ball to the right and curve it around. You're going to give yourself that. You're going to incentivize yourself to start to swing to the right, start to curve that ball back to the left. So predictability, that's really what you're after. Try this little exercise, see if it can improve your predictability. If it does, I think you're going to improve your enjoyment out on the golf course. Thanks for watching.